welcome back to another episode of Zombie. So, where we last left off, we sadly lost our one character. Um, I think it's the same. Hold on, let me check. Um, we lost our character, sadly, in a really dumb way. Wait, this still has the upgrade. I'm gonna leave the pistol normal. I know you're green as grass, but try and remember to A before you shoot. I don't know how far I am, so let's see here. <laughs> I might have to do a cut to where I am. I heard that this is where some issues start to show up, where whenever you do lose a character, it doesn't really make sense. Because other people start acting as if you should know. Upstairs, I see. Well, sorry, but I must return to my work. Do help yourself to anything you need, won't you? Yeah, he just acted like he just knew who I was, even though he shouldn't. Yeah, he told. Yeah, right there. He should have been like, "Oh, you're new. I sent someone up, and he died." That's where he should have said. But instead, he just acted like he knew me once before. seeing anything so I don't know if they respond or not I don't know what that noise is. That's, that's what sucks. I don't know if that's like a warning or something. There should be two zombies. My character and one other. Is. Damn it. 
Can't move fast. Can't just get rid of it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. The patient must be restrained and cannot be calmed by any manner of herbal sedative. She seems ravenous, and nothing I feed her can satiate her monstrous appetite, as if compelled by a most foul instinct to devour all life within her reach. She freed herself of her bonds yesterday and would have gutted our horse alive if I had not reached her in time. I find myself in awe of the piteous state to which man is reduced. A walking conduit, a mere empty coil. Where was I? You must forgive me, I'm a little distracted. Ah yes, Dr. D. John D. was a scientist, alchemist, natural philosopher and all that, to Elizabeth I. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And D. wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. Oh, dear. Sorry, mustache. Following the recommendations of De Remedi Secreti, I reduced the pus to a dry powder and discovered that injecting the concoction into the subject... God forgive me that I refer to my own wife as subject... ...causes the black blood to retract and wither. I glimpsed the flush of my wife's once rosy complexion through the sickness. But alas, she then succumbed to one final fit. And at last, with blessed mercy, ceased moving forever. May God have mercy upon her soul, and allow it now to rest.
Oh boy, it freaks me out, man. Seeing elevators because I think of like um, Dead Rising because they did like the whole zombies in an elevator thing to spook you. He's infected. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, I see you found Gesner's book. I do hope it wasn't too much trouble. I I'd pass it through, would you? something else. Um, that gadget of yours looks rather like something the Omega chaps used to carry. Will you step over there and scan that infected chap with it? A full scan and analyze, mind you, to isolate the infected gland. The human body really is a fascinating thing. Even after all vital signs of the subject cease, the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? I thought so. You'll have to put him out of his misery first. Then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. <coughs> enough for one injection, but you can refill it from another willing volunteer. In return, I need another favor. A second book, Studium Contagione, The Study of Infection by D himself. It's very rare, but I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron's one of those raven chaps, you see. Are you done talking or are you going to talk some more? figure out do I leave from here I guess I leave from here I guess once I have through I'll check behind me just in case but I think this is the right way, I don't know.
Weird. Hold on a second. Oh, nothing important. You are running out of time though, I do know that. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.